and it'll go to tonight's game. There's been significant line movement here, Mindy, and it's on the Vikings. Uh, maybe, oh. you know, the, the uh, look, the Eagles, what was the storyline? You know, they made some big plays defensively. They got the cushion they needed. Yes, maybe they were outplayed by the Patriots. It's still the Patriots. Come on. Um, you know, it's not a Brady Patriots, but Patriots are at home. They fought back. You know, Eagles still got there, right? They didn't get the money maybe, but uh, – or did uh, whatever. But, uh, you know, still a tough game. Now Eagles come back at home. We know Vikings last uh, – in close games, you know, the type of play they had last year, uh, thrilling games, and then they blew the – you know, blew the lead. <laughs> okay. thrilling games. Yeah, we don't have to – labor it for the Vikings fans but yeah Poor okay Vikings Thursday night football Eagles losing a top defensive player that uh, is certainly something that people are talking about as well Cousins look terrible uh, Hurts did not look like Hurts but yeah I think uh, actually the Patriots I think surprised Hurts defensively um, it was one of those that their linebackers seem to back away. And I think that surprised them. Instead of staying up the box to contain Hertz, they drop back in the pass formations. And so I kind of feel like that kind of messed with them a little bit during that game. They're kind of hybrid, uh, you know, safety uh, linebacker movement in there. So again, I think it was one of those that, uh, sure, sometimes a, a starting quarterback like Hertz gets surprised, but still they got the deal done, right? Uh, but if we looked at last year, what happened, the Ingles just totally took it to this Vikings team, right? They had that 24-7 win. They kind of harassed uh, uh, Cousins all night. They always force them into tough throws. So, yeah, I totally agree with going over that uh, half interception prop here tonight because last <laughs> time he threw eight, three interceptions versus uh, this Eagles team. I've never really been a Kirk Cousins fan. I think I kind of make that known uh, just because he is the guy – uh, that reminds me of all the Nebraska quarterbacks who are as good as they are. They score five touchdowns. They'll go throw five interceptions. Uh, and I don't feel like it's going to be any different here today. The Eagles also uh, really didn't allow Jefferson to get much. He only had about uh, 40 yards receiving in that last game. Uh, I kind of feel like Minnesota struggles on the road. And look, Minnesota could not even contain like a Baker Mayfield. How are they going to contain Hurts tonight? I'm all over the Eagles Uh especially now at six. I, I really like that one. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you, and we're going to take the Eagles here. Look, that was a game last season. I mean, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of – I mean, yes, I mean, Eagles have different coordinators now. We get that. But still, Eagles, uh, if anything, they're coming in with a little bit of a – you know, they know they didn't play that well. Uh last week in the second half of that game. And now down to six, I'm interested. Uh, the total, I mean, to me, it seems like, you know, I want us to talk about primetime unders and all that, but <laughs> it feels like the Eagles should probably have a pretty big game offensively. I'm worried the Vikings might not do their share. If the Eagles right. get a cover and they can dominate a little bit, yeah, the, the I don't know if the deep – look, the Vikings ran for – uh, 41 yards last week. That's yeah, not going to, you know, that's just, you can't, this is going to be, a, this could be a problem here big right. time uh, <laughs> today. So, and Eagles is a home favorite, nine and three against the spread with Sirianni. Uh, I, you know, I love that. And everybody wants to say that the Vikings were, you know, were they, I don't want to call them a fraud. If anything, they overachieved. They should be commended on uh, <laughs> the type of season they had last year. I want to be the O'Connell backer. Uh, you know, nobody likes so everybody thinks this guy's overmatched as a head coach. He might be. But I want to think that uh, maybe there's something to the way he did things that kind of brought out some good things in the Vikings uh, last season. Now, everybody was making fun of Cousins last week for having, you know, such a Poor performance, so right. it could stay under because Minnesota might got might not get enough. Well, why you know why would you think, think the so. Vikings against this uh, basically a championship defense? I mean, I you know I know they lost the game, but uh, the big game. But it, you know if the Eagles are right there as a Super Bowl you know favorite still with 
the Kansas City and any other team that you might be trying to put up there with them right now. It feels like you still have the two teams from last year that are the, the teams to beat. So uh, why not beat up on these Vikings that might not be <laughs> still as good as uh, they, their record showed last year? Three trips into the red zone came away with just 10 points last week for the Vikings. So 12 and 18 against the spread as a road dog over the last seven years. I'll, I'll t- I'm going to take the Eagles with you. Possibly a blowout to me. It feels like handicappers are going to take these points. I don't know if the sharps are necessarily. I don't know if that's what – I don't think it's – I don't know if it's sharps moving the line. I pretend to know, and I'm not sure. Uh, but it only, for me, it's only creating a discount. And you know that, uh, you know, if, if it's six at your book and we're giving out at six, it's six everywhere. But you know Mindy and I are going to be, uh, you know, putting it on five and a half. I mean, I, I would, I would think just because that uh, that number right there, just to make sure. So, all right, we'll take the Eagles and feels like another prime time under to me. I'll talk about all my under trends here in just a moment. I don't know if this is one of them. It, I I don't think it's going to be twenty four to seven, Mindy. I, I think it's more <laughs> likely to be, you know, thirty four to seventeen um, or something like that. Uh, this time, I don't. I don't think you'll see a, an overwhelm. I, it may be a strong defensive performance for Philly, but I don't think it'll be uh, holding them to seven. And I, but not because of just the game might end up being a different style of game. Maybe if the Eagles get a lead, and because it did seem like they were, you know, quelching them from the outset uh, last. Remember, it was it was looking you know incomplete passes early. It was just a mash of uh, poor play by the Vikings or forced into it by the, by the Eagles and eventually proved themselves to be championship caliber. That was in week two also, right? Uh, last <laughs> week. Uh, or right. I'm not sure about yeah, that. I don't know. Okay. No idea. Okay. Uh, thank you. Let's get the comments from the chat. Everyone sure has an opinion on this and we didn't even take note, but we should. Frankie does want to take the points here, and Thomas is taking the points, and James says under. It's a big number, right? Uh, hope we got those in there okay. Here's Butterscotch. It's on Philly against the spread. Cousins is uh, allergic to primetime games, apparently, <laughs> says Blake. 